Oh, dearest apple, why have you forlorn me? Why must you require signed drivers? Nobody wants to pay $19 for a genuine Arduino Uno. Nobody. We all want these cheap $3.99 Chinese clones, yet they all have this CH340 driver chip on them, making them impossible to communicate with Mac computers. Why? Why must you do this to me? But alas, there is a solution. And in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you how you can make these cheap Arduino Uno knockoffs from eBay work properly with a Mac using a signed driver because Apple now requires signed drivers. They won't allow you to use unsigned texts. So let's go ahead and take a look at that process. Let's get started. So one thing that Apple did in the latest OSX update is they made it so that anyone who wanted to use an unsigned driver with their products couldn't. They had to be valid signed drivers from Apple. And um, that actually made it pretty annoying to download any sort of drivers for the Arduino chips. And now, finally, someone has released a signed text driver. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you how you can get your cheaper um, Chinese Arduino Uno knockoffs to work properly with Apple products. All right, so let's first go ahead and take a look why this is important to get the driver working. So if we look here on eBay, um, one of the least expensive genuine Arduino Uno Revision 3 models that I found um, was $24.88 right here, plus $6 shipping from Texas. So $25 plus another $6 gets you up to $31 for this piece of board right here. Now I know you can probably find them cheaper, maybe $20 a board, but if you go and find a clone from China, you can see that they're at $3.34 with a $1.85 delivery. So basically four and a half dollars um, for an Arduino Uno versus 20 or 30 dollars for one over here. Now if you notice, you can zoom in here, you see that there's the CH340 driver chip um, on the right hand side, just to the upper left side of the crystal oscillator. So let me go ahead and show you the, the problem first. Um, if we open up Arduino and go to Tools, Port, um, we can see here that we have serial ports listed, but we only have the Bluetooth incoming port. Um, we have no TTY ports, nothing of that sort. Um, it doesn't even recognize that the Arduino is plugged in. So we need a driver for it in order to get that chip to work. Now beforehand, um, Apple was not allowing unsigned text drivers um, in OS X El Capitan. Getting a signed driver is actually very difficult from Apple, um, but somebody ended up doing it. And I will post this link in the description right here to where you can pick up this signed CH340 driver. Um, this driver doesn't require you modifying um, your text files or your parameters on your computer. You just install it like a normal driver and your Arduinos will start working. So let's go ahead and click on that. And when that's done, you'll see a link here that says CH34X underscore install. Go ahead and click on that and it'll download. It's a rel relatively small package. Click on that and it'll unarchive and it'll show up in your downloads folder. And if you open that, you'll see a readme file and an install package. Double click the install package and it'll say it's from an unidentified developer. So that means we need to right click and click open. And that will allow you to click open and run the installer. Just continue, then click install, enter your password. And it says when the software finishes installing, you must restart your computer. And I'm not gonna do this because I went ahead and installed it already, but just keep clicking through. It's relatively simple and you'll have the driver installed and your computer will reboot. All right, so when your computer reboots, go ahead and open up Arduino again. And if you click on tools and port, you'll see there it is, dev, CU, WCH, USB serial, and then some letters and numbers. That is gonna be your Arduino Uno, and just go ahead and click on that. And you are now able to verify. And you're also able to successfully upload the sketch to the Arduino. 
Congratulations, you're done. No longer will this pesky CH340 driver chip keep you from using your Arduino clones with your Mac again. Thank you all so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to subscribe to see some more of my content. Thanks for watching, everyone. Bye. Thank you all so much for watching. If you liked what you saw, feel free to click the subscribe button and check out some of my other videos. Just so there's no hate here, uh, the apple that I just burned, I uh, cut it off and...